Hey guys, today I have this meal prep video for you all and this meal prep is for 1450 calories. It has 68 grams of protein, 99 grams of fats and carbohydrates is at 90 grams and the menu is as follows. For breakfast, we have peanut butter choco chip banana muffins with avocado that is 401 calories. For lunch, we have chicken with cucumber salad, mustard greens and banana almond smoothie that is 594 calories. For dinner, we have chicken with cabbage and carrot stir fry with bone broth and yogurt that is 429 calories and the total is 1424 calories. The first thing to do for this meal prep is prep my peanuts. I am using 100 grams of peanuts which I have already roasted in a very low oven and then I am just going to roughly press this between my hands so that most of the peel come out. And then I am going to blend this in a jar in a grinder and I have a consistency like a rough peanut butter. I am going to add 2 medium eggs, some baking powder, vanilla and then blend it again into this kind of a smooth consistency then I'm going to take three medium bananas that is 210 grams and mash it with the help of this masher this is my pao bhaji masher and because I want it to be even more smooth I'm going to mash it with a, with a fork I'm going to add my eggs and peanut mixture to this and mix it pretty well and then all I need to do is get them into the oven I have a muffin tin of six uh, muffins and I'm going to divide my mixture as equally as possible with the help of a spoon and a spatula and in the end I am going to take 15 grams of chocolate chips these are dark chocolate chips with the lowest sugar content I could get and I'm just going to sprinkle these as evenly as possible and bake them in the oven during which I'll do my other prep but in the end they have to look something like this and this can be easily stored for up to three days which I do but of course only after cooling so bring that them at room temperature and then after that you can store them in a fridge safe container when I want to eat breakfast I'm just going to take two of the muffins out because my serving size is two muffins per breakfast and I'm just going to warm these up in the micro in the microwave for about a minute and a half and during that time I'm going to cut my avocado and I use half the avocado that is the recommended amount and for the rest I just uh, rub a lime and wrap it in cling film and keep it in the same container that way my avocado st stays fresh the next day For lunch and dinner prep, I have one entire chicken that has been pre-cut into these medium sized pieces and I have separated them according to the chest that is the breast pieces and the leg pieces because their cooking, cooking times are different. Then I'm going to take, take 1.5 liters of water and add apple cider vinegar, salt and pepper to it. And then I'm going to add the leg pieces that is the drumsticks and the thighs because they will take the longest to cook. While that is boiling, I'm just going to prep my smoothie. So I'm going to take 100 ml of coconut milk in my smoothie mason jar. I'm going to add 70 grams of bananas, that is one medium banana. Some almonds, these are I guess 20 grams of almonds. And I'm going to add some instant coffee and you can add your coffee of choice. I just like, I just don't like it very very strong. And I'm just going to soak this which is I will put a lid on it and keep this in the fridge this also can be stored for up to three days and whenever I want I can just blend it to go with my chicken I'm going to add uh, a vegetable side dish so that day I happen to get these mustard greens and all I'm going to do is cut them into 
like roughly I'm just going to chop them up roughly and I also have one capsicum in the fridge so I'm going to chop them up also into roughly like uh, half one one inch pieces now the chicken has come to somewhat about to come to a boil and what I do is I just take out the froth that collects on top and these are supposed to be the impurities and it just depends some people don't skim the froth I like to have my bone broth very clear and uh, very clean tasting on the palate and that's why I try to take out as much foam as possible and you might have to do this multiple times while cooking your broth I also have two cucumbers which I'm just going to wash and prep then I have cabbage this is one entire cabbage and this is my vegetable side dish for dinner I also have carrots so I'm just going to slice these carrots into match stick sizes as much precisely as possible I'm going to measure out my oils and I always measure out my oils because you know that can really increase the calories and I try to be as precise as possible I'm going to add my oil in a non-stick wok and I'm going to add one dried chili over there and add my mustard greens and these really don't take much time to cook at all all I do is I'm going to add some turmeric and a pinch of salt and immediately this will start to release water and this just needs to cook for like four to five minutes until the water has evaporated after which I'll just add some fresh ginger and this is basically done I really don't like to overcook my greens at all At this point my stock was done and in between I also added halfway through I also added the breast pieces I'm just going to take out all the chicken out of it because I'm actually going to take out the chicken and separate the meat from the bones the bones will go back into the broth and this will boil for around an hour or until I like the consistency of the broth now on this in the same pan I'm going to add oil this this is about 15 grams of oil I forgot to mention earlier and then I'm going to add some spices now these this is a spice mix called um, punch forum and this has got five types of seeds it's got fennel it's got fenugreek it's also got nigella seeds I think this has got cumin as well uh, and then I'm also going to add two dried red chilies and add my cabbage and carrots and to this also I'm going to add salt and some turmeric and this has to cook until you like the consistency of a, of your cabbage I mean some people like their cabbage and vegetables really crunchy and some like it a little bit cooked and I like mine crunchy so I really don't um, cook it for much long after everything is cooked we are going to fill in our meal prep containers I use microwave safe and fridge safe containers and this is the part where most of the people mess up because all this meal prep is going to mean nothing if you measure it wrong so I need four ounces of chicken and I try to be very very accurate with it and then I'm going to add my cucumber for the salad and I just like to cut my vegetables fresh for my salad most of the time if you're carrying this somewhere somewhere then you can obviously cut it and I'm also going to add my mustard greens and whenever I want to eat lunch I will just prep my cucumber since this is also already measured it's easier for me and I use whatever dressing I have at the moment and that day I had tomato olive oil uh, and chili and this probably has a little bit of lime juice and I just added this dressing to make a quick salad and for the smoothie I just take out my already soaked smoothie you can see that the bananas and the almonds have actually gotten soft because in one day they just they just get really soft and my smoothie is done
and the chicken which I had I just sauteed it in about 5 grams of olive oil because I am allowed that and then lunch was served. This was delicious by the way. For dinner again I needed 4 ounces of chicken so I separated 4 ounces. Then I added my cabbage and carrot stir fry and I added the capsicum. And these are also microwave safe and freezer safe containers that I have. And when I want to eat, I just warm them up. I also saute my chicken as before and then I also eat I mean I also have a cup of bone broth and you can see now that it's a very thick and also very clean broth. Normally I just like to have my broth in a very uh, simple way. I just add some herbs and that day I had spring onions and some coriander. And because I want to have fat, I will have homemade yogurt and you can see this yogurt is so creamy. When you have good quality homemade yogurt, you will not need to add any sugar or salt in it because it's just so good on its own. And that was my entire meal prep video. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, then please leave it in the comment section below. And until I see you guys next time, take care, stay healthy, bye-bye.